Hello everyone. I'm from Barrieta. Now I'm gonna show you the presenter. So this is a call, but we don't know. It's unknown. So we are not bad people, but we are in bad situation. So I'm gonna talk about those people who do not have well established place to live. Those people who maybe are not like people, those who perhaps have a lot of high bad situation going on. The people we call homeless. Homeless people in LA. Homeless people, how you have seen those people here, around in the street, or hospital, or even in public transportation? Uh, do you know that here in LA is an area called Cairo? This Cairo is like a town of, of homeless persons because it's mostly composed for those kind of, of persons. This is Cairo, it's located between Alameda Street, 7th Street, 3rd Street, um, Main, Main Street. Um, this, this is a picture of that area. I must say, I have, have gone to the area. I went to an organization to keep the food. So, only persons are spread around <coughs> Los Angeles. And I'm gonna talk about why was created, why Cairo was created, and why its name is by. Well, according to Mother Jones magazine by Primer Rush, wrote in 2007, says that during the 1980s and 1970s, this Cairo was originated by the bad economy of the country. <coughs> um, um, by the policy of containment. Those to be containment were the funding. The same formerly is called Center City East. Was it stabilized by its full range but the city's followers? Sky Road is now an area that accidentally, accidentally was formed by homeless persons. The city planned to establish that area for a specific homeless and help them to get out of their circumstances. However, primary health is social service providers estimate that in the need 70% of those who live in Cairo had history of drug or alcohol abuse, water or mental ill, up to 10% take HIV, most high criminal record, disease are incarnation and encouraged by exposure and by street only recreation, which for many broad are also is only business to a skill for prostitution and narcotics. So the five are that. Homeless persons are neither addicted or mentally ill. But there are some organizations that help them, like here, Downtown Mental Health Center, uh, Union Rescue Mission, where they, <coughs> they help them to, to make something for their life. And uh, they name it is Cairo. Well, they don't really know why it was named as Cairo, but some, some people say that it was because this person there on San Pedro is not talking about the nickname. So here are the midnight missions where they have, where they can live right there on the night. It's a shelter. So now we know that those people were so now we know that those people were sent out by the city or oh, kind of whoever who are saying as persons. In an article published by New York Times name to Sansa in the San Diego Cairo the City and Ronald Gray by Charlie Ledar, they went to a world this that was the choice part of the city. Tiny movie stars and residents stay in a hotel like Alexandria. They do say that he has a homeless 
Interrogat, 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 if the organization help, if those organizations really help a homeless person to get out of their circumstances, then his response was, there are, of course, programs in China, but programs only work for those people who want to work. This is how those who help maintain right or how so there are organizations. So I must say when <coughs> to see in the area and I encounter so some guys that me <coughs> knowing like knowing to where to go, then I think to show you oh here the public toilet that they use on that on Cairo and I'm gonna show you a video on YouTube. I will call the act. So in the conclusion, <clears throat> so with people awareness, the Cairo can become an area of peace and prosperity. And be careful in times when you go to this area because those people are not really peaceful as they look. <clears throat> 